An unclean spirit is a disembodied spirit that is very wicked in nature and it derives pleasure in wrecking havoc in the lives of its victims. Unclean spirits are also demons that hate God and would do anything to usurp the will of God in the lives of his children. They also are in charge of causing illnesses, accidents, strange ailments, premature death, poverty, retrogression, lack, stagnation and every other thing that is against the will of God in the lives of God's children. They also often take possession of a man's body if the man opens the doorway for them. This is the foremost reason you have to be mindful of what you hear and see as demons feed on lustful things. Guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it proceeds the issue of life. We will be binding and casting unclean spirits that want to oppress and suppress you, which is against the will of God for you. The Bible says in Matthew 16, 19, you have been given the keys of the kingdom that whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Do not be scared of them because the word of God made it clear in Luke 10 verse 19 that you have been given the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions over all the powers of darkness and nothing shall by any means hurt you. They dare not touch you because you have been named with the name of Christ. So let us exercise our authority against unclean spirits by faith with violence. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all demonic forces that are fighting against you and your family are arrested and put in their rightful place. And by the power in the name of Jesus, I put all demonic forces that are against the progress of your family bound and cast into the abbeys. You will not be limited by demonic forces that are warring against your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, Colossians 1.13 says he has delivered us from the the power of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of his dear son since you have been delivered from the kingdom of darkness you're free from the oppression and suppression of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus Psalm 35 verse 1 says that the Lord will fight against those that fight against you. I call on the help of God to fight against all demonic forces that are fighting against you and your family in the name of Jesus. Since Jesus Christ in Colossians 2.15 has disarmed principalities and powers and he made a public spectacle of them triumphing over them in it, the victory that Jesus Christ won over 2,000 years ago will be made perfect in your life and families in the name of Jesus. The evil seeds and clean spirit have sown in your life and family are uprooted right now in Jesus' name. For this reason, the Son of God was made manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. I decree that the Lord would expose and destroy the works of demonic activity in your life and in your families. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the Lord will silence all the powers of darkness in your family in the mighty name of Jesus. As Revelation 12, 11 says that we overcame the devil by the blood of the Lamb and the, by the power of our testimonies. I pray for you right now that you will triumph over the works of unclean spirits by the blood of Jesus and by the words of your testimony and by the words of your confession in the name of Jesus. I destroy all the pieces of machinery of demons against you and your family in the name of Jesus and I plead the blood of Jesus over you and your family and I decree that the blood of Jesus will exempt you from the attacks of demonic activities in the name of Jesus. I flush out all the negative patterns demonic forces have planted in your family and your life. At the mention of the name of Jesus all in clean spirits that are subtly operating in your family will bow this instant now in the name of Jesus. You will never be struck by the arrows of darkness and death shot by the wicked ones in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 32 
2 verse 7 says that the Lord will be your hiding place and he will preserve you from the trouble and will also surround you with songs of deliverance. I pray that the Lord will hide you under his sacred place away from the attack of unclean spirits in the name of Jesus. Psalm 34 7 says the angel of the Lord encamps around those that fear the Lord and delivers them. I decree right now that the angel of the Lord will encamp round about you and keep you safe from the manipulation of demonic activities in your life and family. I release the fire of the Lord around about you to keep you far from the fiery darts of unclean spirits in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Do not hesitate to drop your prayer requests and testimonies in the comment section. And I also implore you to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. God bless you.